Okay, so here is your typical GE hot point washer. You open the lid, there's two clips here, flathead screwdriver goes in there, opens this up, hinges from the bottom. And uh, if you look in here and you see this grit, this is basically the cement from the balancing block. And you can see the balancing block in here. And that little lip goes over that lip up there. So the lip on the block, if you have any left, goes over it. So the weight is on the back side here. You can see it's torn up the basket a little bit or the barrel. Um, there's a slight possibility there could be a leak and typically what happens when that thing bounces around it destroys these wires for the uh, transmission assembly what I'm going to attempt to do now that block it's just a, basically a brick um, and so what I thought was I would uh, just sort of <clears throat> clean this up back here and then glue a brick back there I'm going to use the old one rather than spend 80 bucks for ha having someone to send me a brick I'm going to use that old one and try and use that reuse that old one and then put some uh, some E6000 or hard as nails glue to hold it back in place and so yeah that's that's what I'm going to do if I if I spend 80 bucks on this machine uh, for a new block um, you know it's a used machine who's going to want to pay over $80 for a used machine if I put an hour's worth of work into it it's not really worth uh, me putting too much money time and money into this used machine but let's try and fix it okay so I'm also putting these bigger washers on and I'm gooping the strap and then this is going to go in the middle which it did not have a middle uh, bolt so I'm putting a middle bolt in as well and it should be fine okay so here it is what I've done is if you have some great clean or alcohol you can clear this area and make sure it's I have a little bit of scotch bright here and just make sure it's nice and clean and make sure your brick is kind of dusted off so there's no kind of debris kind of hanging on it and so basically we take the goop this is the automotive goop D6000 would be better I think this will hold but we've got some wind kicking over here today anyway uh yeah I'll uh lube the back edge of this back edge here inside there or excuse me I'll goop it goop this back edge the solid edge here the solid edge here in the bottom then I'll also goop it inside there okay to use a Biden term here's the deal here's the deal the deal is basically where those screws mount into it's stripped so you have to put a nut behind them so that has to be fastened down with a nut. I don't think the glue alone would hold, although maybe some glue and a bungee might hold, but otherwise that nut that holds that balance block down has to be, uh, or that bolt has to have a nut on the back side of it in order for it to stay uh, at least halfway decent. So you can see I put a little bit of glue in there. Now I'm going to put a little bit more on the nuts so they don't budge and a little bit around the edge on the back edge. And I'm going to check it in the morning. Hopefully that will do the trick.